Hey everybody, we're here at the University of Colorado Boulder. You can see the nice, of course it's beautiful out. And this is how to stretch a canvas and prime it. You're gonna learn how to do that. First thing, if you can notice, there's all these little wrinkles just from transport because usually they come in a roll. So I'm gonna actually start off by ironing out these wrinkles just with an ordinary iron. Next step is just to sweep up the area so you don't get dirt and charcoal dust and stuff on your canvas. Next, you just want to lay the canvas flat onto the floor. And now we're just going to bring the stretcher bars right onto the canvas. Take my shoes out and we walk in on it. this looks like up close and we've also got a pair of canvas pliers and these can aid in uh, pulling this tightly. I'll show you how those work. So what you do there's a little nub here you want that part to be on the wood right so you grab this and you get that little nub thing here. Get up the edge, pull it over the edge. And then hit it with the staple. Just a simple tool. Otherwise, I'm really doing a lot of grabbing and pulling with my hands. Uh, and that's not something maybe everyone's gonna be able to do because I'm the Hulk. But yeah, that's how you use the canvas pliers. It's starting to get tight in the middle there, so we're going to do the top and the bottom next, just the same way. First one, you don't need to pull so much, you just want to, because you don't want to pull so much of the fabric that you're taking too much fabric from that side over there. We don't want to take too much fabric from that side. So the first pull is pretty strong, and then the second pull is extra strong.
got all four sides have some staples in them. You can see it's starting to get tight in the middle. So now what we're going to do, let's say this is your canvas. We've got staples here, 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 and here. And what we're going to do is put staples this direction here, and we're going to put staples that direction there, and then this direction here, and that direction here. Why? Because a guy who was a preparator at the Smithsonian told me this is how you do it. Here you'll be able to see I'm putting in staples about that far apart, two fingers apart. And I'll show you my move I do with this. So I get on here. This might help you. You kind of grab up higher here with this. And you just edge it up, move it up to the edge. Then I switch hands. I hold it with that. So I can staple with my right hand normally. Now we've got all those done and we're just going to go to the left now on each side. Now once you get up to these corners what you're going to want to do is tuck this into a little triangle and pull that wrinkle up like that. So now you can see the canvas is nice and tight And now we're gonna get on to priming it. And when we prime it, we wanna start, of course I go straight into the light. We wanna start in the center. We're gonna start by getting all this wet, and then we're just gonna work our way out. What we don't wanna happen is, if we have too much gesso, the gesso is gonna start making this get even tighter. So you might see a couple small wrinkles, but all those are going to be gone by the end. And sometimes the gesso can make it so tight that it'll actually bow the canvas out. So we want to start off in the center and go out from there. I just get a little bit on my brush, and then I go in a crisscross motion. You want to work it into the canvas. A lot of this is going to absorb. Try to reduce brush marks by lightly going over your previous brush marks. Your previous brush marks. start hearing it like a drum. As it gets tighter and tighter as that gesso dries. I know everybody wants to be lazy, but don't forget to do those sides too. They're a pain in the butt to paint later because you can get paint in there and then all of a sudden it's like a totally different quality on the side than it is on the front sides too. So now you've got a nice fully primed canvas. If you're wondering, I'm using a clear gesso and it's ready to go. Hard to focus. No wrinkles. Ready for painting. <laughs>